Right, guys, today we have a rescue donation happening in uh, North Naples, in our hometown, by this uh, nice peer of mine, gentleman, Mike. He has to move into a different space, which will, does not allow for any pets. He's uh, really a fish head, fish lover. So we're getting a bunch of fish from this uh, above ground pond. Uh, there is a couple of red tails, koi, an arowana, tiger shovel nose, and a few others. And uh, there is some smaller stuff from, uh, from the smaller tanks. Already started pumping the water down. So when we, all, when we pack him up in our two tubs, I'm gonna film when we're ready to go and then perhaps we're gonna, we're gonna film some at our, at our spot as well. I think we're ready to start packing. This is gonna be for the big guys. This is gonna be for the small guys. Okay, this is our first batch. Angels, silver dollars, black ghost knife. And a small gourami. Second batch, three plecos, silver dollar, and a black ghost knife, which was in the same tank as the other black ghost knife. I'm surprised. This one's got a little tattered fins, so that's probably the work of the bigger one that was in the first bucket. Third batch, there's a menagerie, two bitures, clown knife, parrots, silver dollars, bala shark. Gurami, some tetras. That's it. Oh, two sun, sun catfish. Okay, I think this is the last of the smaller guys. There's a pike cichlid, a fire eel who only eats bloodworms after a year of Mike and, and his wife having them, Amanda. So they, uh, they've been trying to, their best to, try to wean them onto the dry foods but you'll never take them, only once the blood worms, which is not surprising. And another common pleco. Okay, these are the bigger guys, five Oscars, two red tail catfish, tiger shovel nose, three koi, one big pike cichlid, and an arowana. So we're ready to go. Let's take a look at the smaller, smaller guys. Most of them are probably hiding in the pipes. You won't be able to see too much here. But they're all in there. We're done with the acclimation, so we're ready to start transferring them. We're gonna begin with the biggest and the most valuable fish, and then we're gonna move on to the smaller guys. She is four years old. Looks like a female, but I will see it later. But I think it's a female from the longer extensions on the pelvic fins.
for a tool. It's been about three hours since we put everybody in the new tanks. I'm gonna run over and see how everybody is doing. This is the new Arowana. Seem to be doing all right. I don't see any damage on it. The two new red tails on the bottom, in the middle. Also doing well, no damage. No problems. I've seen the uh, Bicarina chasing the new Rowana, just kind of swimming side by side and posturing. Just making sure she's the boss. I hope this is going to be the end of it. Alright, uh, the horribly disfigured Tiger Shovel Nose. Five new Oscars coming back to the census. That's a six year old. Mike and Amanda had a two six year olds, and other Oscars were a little younger. the other six year old by the bottom. Albina Oscar. There's two or three of them are extremely thick. I've never seen an Oscar that thick. Almost every tank has got somebody new. A little Pleco in the Dorado tank. The Pike Cichlid, the big one went here. And four new or smaller, smallest uh, parrots went in here. And also that little black hole on the back wall. So that's the new fish in this tank. Little black hole for this tank, in addition to the big guy. Nobody else is new there. No change in the jumbos. Got a couple of black holes here. The albino on the back wall, and this one that looks like xanthic or xanthic or like reddish, dark yellow. Pleco for this tank. We didn't put anybody new in here. We put the two new black ghost knives in here, so they're a little stressed right now in this corner, huddling up. Even though normally black ghost knives don't like each other. Two little sun catfish went in there. And uh, the smaller, the, the young uh, pike cichlid went in here also. But all this woodwork, oh, he's right there in, in the corner. 
by the back wall. There it is. A little weasel. Okay. Whole bunch went in here. The long, long tail angel. Little smaller silver dollars. I don't know, like ten of them in there or something. Went in here. The four line pimp catfish is here. The clown knife. And also the two smaller Sinigali biters. I don't know where they are. Maybe in there, I don't know. Inside that fake wood. Uh, and also the the bigger fire yield went in here, but he's hiding of course, we will not see him anytime soon until he learns the ropes and comes out to be fed, hand fed. He, he, he only takes blood worms by hand feeding. Alright. Okay, placo for this tank. Uh, there's a whole bunch of smaller stuff in here. Barbs. Skirt barbs. Tiger barb. Two little angels. Two gurami. Two bala sharks. I don't know who else. It's a kind of tetra also. It looks like a skirt tetra, but it's bigger and it's albino. There's two of them in there. There's the other one by the back wall. Okay, so that's probably all that went in there. And the last are the koi, the three new koi in the 25,000 gallon to complete this roster. That's a new one over there, I'm swimming in the middle. White, mostly white, looks like a sunkey with a tancha like spot or cap, red cap on the, on the head. That's a new one. Okay, these two are new also. They are like Shiro Tsuri, white and black with a red spot on one side of the head. And this odd one that's with a red spot on the head and a red spot on the rear half, real fat one. So they're doing alright. Okay, so far so good.